Hi, this is Jill coming to you this afternoon to do a plan with me in my new uh, planner that I picked up, um, I guess it was about a week ago. Um, it is one of the Print Pression Weeks hardbound planner. I was able to get one of the anniversary boxes that had the baby blue um, hardbound planner in it with the uh, clear vinyl cover that had the silver foil uh, bows, pens, and uh, it says create something you wish existed. Life is about creating yourself. And um, it's a beautiful cover. And I have it in a print impression black onyx um regular weeks cover the cover of the book does not slide in this pocket it will not fit so i've just put it on the string um, that is in this planner cover and we're going to use it that way um, i haven't decided yet how i'm going to use this planner let me show you what it's like i went ahead and did a washi uh, inside front cover using uh, washi tape from paper studio some from wonton in a million some from uh, was it Shine Sticker Studio or Sweet Kawaii Design? I think it was. And I just love all the colors of that. And the coffee theme is very much me. Um, what you get with this planner is you get a front page uh, with a place to put your name. There's some blank pages there, and then it goes right into the monthly. And this is what we're going to. Uh, decorate today. Um, I went ahead and put these stickers down to, that just spell out the abbreviated days of the week. I wasn't sure. Um, I did not have any uh, stickers that would fit um, for those boxes so I just kind of tried to find something in my stash that would work and these were in a stickers book that I had. So you get enough for 12 months of the monthly views and then there are 52 weeks worth of these pages if you did uh, a week on two pages there would be enough to do a whole year um, you could break it up and do a week on four pages um, and I have seen other people that actually do this page like a Hobonichi weeks where it goes horizontal and then this page is like the right hand sign with the graph or grid paper um, on this side. So your your um, ways to use it are endless. However you would like to use this, you know, it's very easy to adapt to the way you want to use it. It is undated, so you can start it whenever. And then in the very back, there are these grid pages. I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but there's enough there to put some notes in and um, it's a great book. In fact, I just picked up another one at their restock sale yesterday. Um, so if you're interested in them, I'll put a link below, but you can check them out at printpression.com. And they run for $19.99 plus shipping and handling. I think all told mine came to like $24 and something to have it shipped to me. So. <clears throat> that's that so we're going to decorate this page for the month of September and like I said I got these stickers out of a sticker book <coughs> sorry and I believe it was I want to say it was one of the um American Crafts sticker books, but I don't know for sure. I'll have to go back and look and see if I can find where I got those from. Um, I'm going to use some washi on this, some at the top and the bottom. The bottom has a little bit wider space to use. So for the top, I'm going to use this gold foil uh, polka dot washi. And for the bottom, this, come, this came from, I think this came from the paper studio probably out of one of their tubes. I don't know which one. And then this actually came from Dollar Tree. 
um, and it is some of their washi and it says life is beautiful life is good life is wonderful and then it starts over again with kind of this uh, splatter blue and green effect on it so we're going to use that so let me put down this washi at the top first and if you have purchased one of these print pression planners I would love to hear from you and find out how you're using it I'm just going to trim off this edge here because it doesn't want to stick um, like I said I haven't decided if I'm going to use it as an actual planner if I'm going to use it for uh, social media things if I'm going to use it for um, my photography group I just haven't decided what I want to do with it I may try several things in it and then decide how I want to use it so just be looking for a video of me planning in it and we'll go from there so we're gonna put this down here I wish I had my little ring light because I'm having a hard time seeing in here today and then this this is just the right width for down here so it's not going to leave us much room in the boxes it'll take up just a little bit there at the bottom but I think it will be okay and we'll just roll with it so there we go now for the sidebar I'm going to use I got this sticker book from this is a recollection sticker book I got this from uh, Michaels when I was in San Antonio a few weeks ago and I liked it because it did have um, some month tabs it had some weather stickers um, had some days of the week stickers some dates stickers but it also had it had some holiday stickers it also had some monthly stickers so I'm thinking of using oh, I was thinking of using that one Then I also have in one of these sticker books in the uh, journaling happy planner sticker book there are these monthly stickers so since I used the gold foil washi up here I may use this gold foil September sticker and we'll put that right like that and I don't think there's any date uh, year stickers so we will have to probably write those in using a pen that not the best handwriting but it'll do and then I may put some sort of a sidebar there if I have something that will 
worked. Let me see. have anything that will fit in that narrow of a spot. So let's go ahead and put down our dates. And you can see, or I hope you can see, each of these little boxes has a smaller box in the corner for putting your dates in. And I think like these stickers here they kind of or these here these would go with the thing down here but these because I use the different colored stickers here these would go good for there so maybe I'll go ahead and use these triangle stickers okay so we're going to use We're going to use the triangle stickers from this page here, if I can open it up to get to them. And I probably need to use my tweezers to put them down. So the first, I believe, is on Sunday today is the 31st so so these aren't going to line up exactly with those little boxes but I think it will be fine wish that book would stay open to that page. So let's put these down. Well, maybe I should have done this off camera. Um, I guess I can always speed it up too. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tear that page out because it's just too hard to get to these up at the top of the page.
I think it'll look fine with all of these different colors in there. Oops, that one went down crooked. problem is I have so much stuff here under my desk that I can't get close enough to see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. We got our monthly dated and I think that looks rather nice. Okay, now I don't know what to do with these empty boxes here. Um, I may cover them up with washi if I can find a washi that will complement um, what we have already down and um, or I may decorate them I'm not sure yet so that being said
Let's see. If we can find a way to those are probably too big. Hold on just a second. I needed to look for my Hobonichi Weeks stencil and then I remembered they were in here because I was carrying my Hobonichi in here. And I want this little green one, I think. Because what I can do is make... I wanted a way to make like a place to keep track of birthdays. And I'm afraid if I use this pen, it's probably going to smear. Whoops. I went too far. I forgot that that's not all the way across. But we can probably use a little bit of white out. And there we go. Okay. So we have that. And then how about I think I have, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. I think I have six birthdays in September. And there are one, two, three, four, five. Here, stars. And we'll write here birthdays, and the sixth is my mom, the seventh is my nephew Timothy, the fifteenth is my niece Ashley the 23rd is my niece Joni the 25th is my brother-in-law Bob and then I think my sister-in-law has a birthday in September but I'm gonna have to double check that because I'm not for sure so we have birthdays, okay, and then we'll put a little dotted line across again. Like that. And we can also put, um, How 
about remember. And the remembers are on the 17th. I have a photography club meeting. And on the 24th is a camera club meeting. And like that's all we need to keep track of for this month. And then down at the bottom part, what could we put there? Maybe our bills. Birthdays and remember, and then bills. Okay, so that's how we're going to decorate um, for the monthly. And again, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these um, unused boxes here. But let's go ahead and get to the weekly. And let me just make sure that doesn't smear. Or if it does, it doesn't smear too much. And I think this is the first week. Um, I think to start off with, I think I'm going to do a week on two pages. And I will use this first box as um, kind of like a, a this week type thing keep track of things that are going on this week or maybe I'll use it for my um, menu planning I don't know we'll have to see how it goes so let's start out with some days of the week stickers and actually I'm gonna start my week on Sunday because that is how normal weeks start. So I am going to put this right up here on this box. Now these boxes are sized um, the same width as like the Erin Condren boxes. So any stickers that you have that are for Erin Condren, they should fit fine. And you can see that those fit in there perfectly. And I'm going to do my week right across like so. 
go. I know some people like to have their Saturday and Sunday be next to each other, but I, it took me a long time to get used to that in my other planners um, because I'm used to a normal calendar um, where the week starts on a Sunday and ends with Saturday. So um, I thought with this planner, since it is undated, I will get back to dating my planner the way that the week goes. These are a nice little scalloped box with colors of blues and green. Okay. There we go. And there's even an empty one to put here. Okay, so there we go with that. Now for the dates. Um, could use those bluish ones, but that might be a little bit much of blue on blue. So let's see. Yes, whoops, I'll use the trusty little date stickers out of the Agenda 52 sticker book. Um, let's use these little black circle ones here. So let's start with the first, and let me grab my tweezers because these are small enough that my fingers might have a hard time with them. So this is going to be for the 1st through the 7th. Wednesday because Wednesday takes up so much room we're gonna have to hang the sticker off the box and for Thursday too So we have our dates down. Now let's see about I don't want to go, you know, sticker wild on here. Um, I think what I will do. This is um, Shine Sticker Studio sticker book from Michaels that you can get for five dollars. 
um, and it has a lot of functional household uh, stickers in here. So they actually have a trash sticker, which I'm going to use because trash day is on Tuesday. And on Friday, and I will have a bill due that I'm going to pay on Friday. So let me grab one of these bill due stickers out of that sticker book. And I'll just put it right here. because I might want to put some washi down here on the bottom. Um, this is uh, washi that was in the Sweet Kawaii Designs um, I think you got three three or four rolls of washi from Michaels for five dollars and it doesn't take up a lot of room it will fill you know one one row of boxes just to add a little bit to each one And I know um, I've seen lots of videos on YouTube of how people are planning in this planner. In fact, uh, the owner of Print Pression, his name is Kane Anderson. If you go to YouTube and type in Print Pression, um, he actually has a YouTube channel, and you can watch him plan in one of these planners. So, um, I know uh, the owner of Coffee Monsters Co., I believe she plans in one. So there's lots of videos out there that you can watch uh, to find out how people are using these planners. Um, what am I going to put on? Let's see, I need a coffee cup. I'm actually going to put this one 
on Tuesday because Monday is actually Labor Day, so I have the day off. put it down here because my trash girl is taking up too much room on the top um, let's see do I have a sticker for Labor Day I'll look in the LOL sticker book the seasonal one there we go This one that says Labor Day on it. It's a little flag. And to track my Bible reading in here um, so let's put that on a this is from shine sticker studio um, I think I'm going to use some of these stickers here with the, they either have a diamond on them or a star. And we'll put that at the bottom of each page and that's where I'll mark in um, the Bible chapter and verses we need to read. Oh, and they have bows too. Okay, so we'll put this one here. I was envisioning using this book um, as kind of a bullet journal. So I may still do that to a degree. And I may have to move this up some. Let me see if I can peel it up. The pages in this book are very sturdy. Um, they're a nice weight. I don't know if I'm going to peel this up without ripping though. It is going to rip just a little bit. So we'll move that up like so. And hopefully it'll still stick. And then let's see. So we have a diamond here. And we'll do a bow here. And we'll do a star here. And then we'll go back to a diamond. Like so. OK. 
Okay, so that will be for our Bible reading. And let's see. We need a habit tracker here. Another one. Here, and we'll use one to track our posts to YouTube and one to track posts on Instagram. And Sunday we have grocery shopping and we have laundry I don't see a laundry sticker on there. So we'll use a grocery store sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And we'll use a laundry sticker from Shine Sticker Studio. Also gonna go to the movies with some friends and my sister and my niece. So I'm gonna use this little movie marquee. We'll put that right there and then we'll put in uh, the movie that we're going to see, we're going to go see Overcomer. And let's see if I have. this in here. Is that going to be? And we'll use that to track what we're posting to YouTube. And then we'll use these. Track our, well, is that going to be too big? Our stats on YouTube and on Instagram. And then, let's see, Monday. I don't really have anything. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, possibly. A photography group meeting but I think he was gonna reschedule it 
Thursday, not really anything. Friday was my bill that's due. Saturday is church. Friday is also my mother's birthday, so I need a birthday sticker or something to notate that it's a birthday. So I'm going to use her favorite color is purple, like mine. So I'm going to put this here and I'll write in there that it is mom's birthday. And then on Saturday is actually my nephew's birthday. So I'm going to use this foiled heart and we'll put that right there and I can write that in and also need a box How about if we use this one Saturday is church. We'll put that there. That sticker doesn't want to stick down since I peeled it up. Um, On Monday, I think my husband is going to have some friends over, so we'll put this down here, and that's out of the Shine Sticker Studio. Another one of the books you can get at Michael's. And as you can see, they fit very nicely in these boxes. Tuesday, we already marked down um, trash day. Wednesday. But if we use a couple of these, these are out of the Sweet Kawaii Design sticker books. And I'm going to put one right here and use it as a to do. And then we'll get another one and use it on Thursday. Tuesday and that still leaves um, you know some area to write stuff in if we need to Ooh, that's crooked let me see if I can peel that back up and re-stick it down 
There, that's better. And then I just need a header over here. Um, This one that says remember off of the sweet kawaii designs sticker book <clears throat> and there we go i think that'll do it for this week and we'll see how it goes planning in this one if it works i may continue to use it and um it'll be fun trying something new so i hope you enjoyed this plan with me if you liked this video please press the like button if you'd like to subscribe to my channel you can press the subscribe button if you'd like to see an after the pen you can check it out on my youtube or on my instagram account which is jelly beans planner nook and i hope you'll subscribe to my channel and that you'll come back and spend some time with me and we'll sit down we'll make some plans if you have any questions or any comments please leave them below and I look forward to spending some more time with you. Have a great afternoon.